I'm Kyneton the Tech Pro and today we are going to actually be beginning to explain these machine learning questions and answers. So there are 10 of them in this series and actually there are other series 1 to 10, 10 to 20, 11 to 20, 21 to 30 and so on. So this is the first 10 so this is the right place for you to start. So there are random questions I've chose and I've actually given the answers here, the client answers in my website kyneton you find in the description box. But I also want to explain uh, these answers as well by using uh, maybe some diagrams and also some notations so that it becomes very clear to you. So let's dive right into the first question. Well, before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you get updates when I make new lessons. And also feel free to leave me a, a question or anything you'd like me to do. And also this, if you subscribe, you kind of motivate me to continue making this license for you. All right, so let's take the first question. What is maximum likelihood estimation? Uh, well, maximum likelihood estimation is simply an estimation method using maximum likelihood. I will actually have mentioned, talked about likelihood function, but maybe I can talk about that a little later. But if you want to read about likelihood function, you can find it in this link. So maximum likelihood estimation is a way to make an estimation using the method of maximum likelihood. And also remember that in estimation is simply that we have a population here, uh, a population, and we want to make an estimate of some unknown parameter P. For us to estimate something from this population, we simply take a sample from this population we simply take out a sample. From this sample, we can now make an estimate. So let's take a typical example. We want to estimate the probability of selecting um, a male from this population. So we have a population of people. This is people both male and female. So we want to estimate the population of uh, the, the probability of selecting uh, an item from this population. So this probability will be one if it's a male and it to be zero if it's a female. So what we are trying to estimate now is P. We are trying to estimate the par parameter P. So for us to make this estimation, so give a second, we need to use a function called a distribution function. Distribution function is simply that you take several samples and take some of the take the average or take some cumulative average from that sample. So the distribution function for this sample that you are taking here will simply have the form f. f of xi given p. So what it means is this function is the value uh, of xi, the value the xi was going to take given the parameter p, assuming we know it. So it's going to be 1 for male and 0 for female. So it's going to be of this form, p to the power of xi into 1 minus p to the power of x1 minus, sorry, let me just make it right, to the power of, 1 minus xi. So let's see how it works. So in case of male, we say f, and let's say xi is male, so it means xi is 1, is equal to p to the power of xi is 1 into 1 minus p into 1 minus 1. So this quantity now becomes equal to p dots 1 minus p to the power of 0 and that is going to give us p. For female we have f of 0 to p we substitute the value of xi and we have p to the power of 0 into 1 minus p to the power of 1 minus 0 which will give us p to the power of 0 is 1 so we have 1 minus p to the power of 1 equal to 1 minus p. So basically, this is how this function actually behaves. So now, if we take this function for all the values from, 
let's say we have n number of items here. We have the value of xi for i is equal to 1 to n. Okay. Uh, for i is equal to 1 to n. So at this point, we need to now take several of this, of this function. So we have the function is going to now be f of x1, x2, all the way to xn, all right? Of course, it's given the parameter p that we are trying to estimate. So that will give us, um, so for, it will give us f of x1 uh, given p plus times f of x2 given p all the way to f of xn given p. So if we replace this function, we call this we the f of x with this function, so we'll have p of x1 into 1 minus p of x1 uh, times p of x2 into 1 minus p of 1 minus x2. So this is 1 minus times times p of xn into uh, 1 minus p into 1 minus xn. So now we are trying to find the function. So we have f of, uh, so the total of them, so is going to give us equal to, so it means that we are summing everything together. So now in case of maximum likelihood, we don't use these functions, uh, this notation zima, we, uh, sigma, we use this notation. So we are summing everything p to the power of xi into 1 minus p to the power of 1 minus xi from i is equal to 1 to n. <clears throat> so this function is called the likelihood function. Right, so this function we've derived is the likelihood that is presented by L. So in case of now you can derive this function for any parameter at all. So if you don't really understand exactly how this uh, works, uh, don't worry so much. The key thing is for maximum likelihood estimation, you need to try to maximize this function. And how do you maximize the function by differentiating it and setting the derivative to zero? So to maximize this function, you simply remember that this function is a function of p. So we have dl by the p is equal to zero because it is a function of p. So at this point you can find the value of p that maximizes the likelihood function and that is what maximum likelihood estimation is all about. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to thank you for viewing. Uh, remember to subscribe and also, I'd like to recommend you try to read up likelihood function at this, in this particular link.